Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we'll create a drop down menu only using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. The first thing we'll create is a div section. I will give this div section a class of drop down. Then within this div section, I'll create a button. What kind of drop down menu should we create? Let's create a drop down menu for food. Then we'll need a div section to hold all of the different content within our drop down menu. I will give this inner div section a class of content. Within my content class, I'll create a few hyperlinks. I'll set the href attribute to be nothing, but you can put a file path or a URL in here. I'll create three elements for our drop down menu. The first will be apple, orange, then banana. This part isn't necessary, but for my demonstration, I'm going to create a paragraph of text. I'll type lorem, then hit tab, that will generate some text. All right, that is all the markup that we need for this video. Let's head to our style sheet. The first element I'll apply some CSS properties to is our button. With my drop down menu class, I will select any buttons. I will change the background color to be something else. I'll use HSL values. I'll go with 80% for the lightness. For the font color, I'll pick white. I'll add a little bit of padding around the text. Padding 10 pixels by 15 pixels is good. I'll remove the border by setting the border property to be none. Then I'll change our cursor to be a pointer when we hover over the button. Cursor, pointer. Now when I hover over the button, my cursor changes to a pointer. The next elements that will change are the A elements. Within my drop down menu class, take any A elements, then apply these CSS properties. Let's display all of these items as a block. I will set the color to be black. I'll remove any text decoration. That's the underline basically. Text decoration none. And I will apply a little bit of padding. 10 by 15 pixels. We have one issue. All of the content within my drop down menu is pushing all of the other content on my web page down. Eventually, we'll set the position of our content to be absolute to take it out of the normal flow of our web page. With our drop down menus content class, let's change the background color first. Background color, I'll use HSL values. Let's go with 95% lightness. I will set the position property to be absolute. Then I'll set a minimum width for the content. I'll stick with 100 pixels, but feel free to adjust this value. Then I'll add a box shadow. Box shadow. The first value is for the horizontal positioning. The second number is for the vertical positioning. The third value is for the level of blur. Then select a color. To make the shadow a little bit lighter, if I'm using HSL values, I can adjust the position of this bar and change the opacity. Let's go with like 80%. That looks pretty good. Normally, I don't want this content to be displayed unless I hover over our button. I will set the display property of our content to be none to hide it. When I hover over our button, then I'd like to display that content. Let's take our drop down menu class and apply the hover pseudo class. With our content, I would like to set the display property to be a block again. Now when I hover my cursor over the button, it displays our drop down menu. 
Here's a few extra changes I'm going to make. When I hover over the button, I'll change the background color of the button. With our drop down menu class, I'll apply the hover pseudo class, take our button within that class, then change the background color. I'll set the lightness to be like 70. The background color of the button is changing now. Then lastly, when I hover over one of these A elements, I also would like the background color to change. With my drop down menu, take any A elements. When I hover over them, change the background color. For the lightness, I'll set that to be like 90. That looks pretty good. All right, here's the last change that we're going to make. With our div section, it's a block level element. When I hover my cursor over this area, even though it's all white space, we still display the drop down menu. The last change that I'm going to make is set the drop down menu div section to display as an inline block. So when I hover over this white area, we don't display the drop down menu until I move my cursor over the button. Then the menu is displayed. All right, everybody. So that is a simple drop down menu only using HTML and CSS.